Hiya, I did my New Year's look yesterday and I wasn't really planning to do anything for this year but um, I've got some time to kill and um, I just thought, you know what, I can't go New Year's Eve uh, and not do any makeup or anything like that. So I've done this really stupid, silly, totally unwearable um, makeup tutorial. I've got some weird funky stuff going on my eyes, some really heavy false lashes and um, yeah, really crazy hair. Um, so if you want to see this silly tutorial of mine, just keep on watching. So I'm applying quite liberally, um, painterly paint pot on my eyelids. So I'm using the Fix Gel that I used yesterday. I'm just going to take a small brush, take some of that Fix Gel onto the brush as opposed to applying it directly on my eyes. Um, just because I don't want too much and I'm just going to place that I think I've probably got a bit of colour left on this brush from a different look but while that's still wet and tacky I'm going to take a bit of Inglot's um, number 76 pigment and just applying that um, in a line with that brush kind of like that And just bring it out a little bit, just a shape. I'm going to come out of the corner and then under too. I'm just kind of pressing that on. I'm adding this colour now, which is Barry M number 22, which is a sparkly um, charcoal black. applying a line. I'm going to go back into the gel, the fixing gel again, and I'm going to pick up another colour. This is a, um, a sort of a green iridescent colour. and read the number on the back. I think it's number 21. Butting that right up next to it. Just in a line like that. Don't worry that the colours are too similar. And again, if you're going to do something like this, then just use the colours that you um, have at home that kind of work within a, a particular colour wheel. This one that I have is from um, Barry M, it's number 66, it's just a matte black pigment. I've taken some of that gel already on the brush. Taking some more of the gel and this time I'm taking this colour here which is number 98. And then um, in the outer corners I'm just going to place some more of that glue and I'm going to pick up any one of those colours I think I'm going to go for the black one this is number 22 and press that in It doesn't matter that it's a bit messy, you can always clean it out with a baby wipe at the corners, I just want to get the colour on. Now that the colours are applied, I'm just going to go in between all of these lines with this silver liner. using these two colours here to create a contour. Okay, 
So I went in with the darkest brown colour and an angled liner and just went in across the crease. Okay, so now that I've gone back over and just made everything a bit darker and a bit more intense, I'm just going to tap whatever my, is left over my brush on that part, uh, the crease, just to make sure that there's no sort of line or any parts that's missed out. And then I'm just going to go over my silver lines again. Okay, now this needs liquid liner, so I'm going to cut into it just to make this um, less out there. I'm not putting anything to highlight my brows at all for the moment. Um, I'm just going to use my mineralized finish. Okay, so I'm just popping on these um, false lashes. I don't know where they're from. I've also um, got a little dot here from where I reapplied the liquid eyeliner over the um, eyelashes. And I've got a little dot there and I thought it looks quite cute, so I've left it there. The only thing I want to do is just emphasize this cat eye a little bit more. I'm doing that with Max Feline Cold Power Pencil. And I haven't deliberately lined inside my eyes because I just feel like it closes my eye too much. the clean brush I'm just taking Inglot's 35 um, eyeshadow I'm just applying that underneath and across. I'm going to go in with the dark brown that I used earlier and just go in under the lashes there and just intensify that uh, shadow under the lower lashes. I think Blink and Go Mascara I'm just going to put a tiny bit just to marry up my own lashes with the fake lashes not too much, I want to be able to use the lashes again so I don't want to really put too much mascara on them um, and then have really yucky ones afterwards. adding a little bit of Illamasqua's Tingle Pigment just under here. Only because this is just super iridescent and I feel like I need it under here. I blush just these little bronzing balls. Ever so slightly. Now that the mascara is dried, I'm just adding in Illamasqua's Vowel Pencil. Okay, so I've put on a very light lipstick. Now, um, I, with my hair, I've done kind of a weird pin-up style meets space age mess. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find any earrings to match. So I hope you had fun watching this stupid crazy tutorial. Um, it's just for fun, play with colours and it's really nice to get to know your colours when you just muck about with them, um, with what you have. So yeah, you know, just sit and idle one day, just play around with what you have and see what you come up with. Um, don't forget to take pictures and let me see what it looks like. You can post them on my Facebook if you like, if it's any easier, um, which is Nisha Dafter Makeup Hair and Henna. Please do feel free to share any of my videos um, on Facebook or via your own websites if you have them. You can embed them by using the code below. And um, yeah, please do rate, subscribe, comment, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye. This border here is dead flat against, um, you know.